Well, the keys to, to Iowa. <laughs> Iowa's, uh, first you start with Peter Jock, who's one of the top scorers in the Big Ten. He can score inside, he can score out. Uh, he's definitely a threat from anywhere on the court, so we'll have to do a really, really good job with him. And then their, uh, their point guard, Bo Hannon, has been playing at a high level. He shoots uh, very well from three, and so we'll have to make sure that we contest those shots. The last game, their inside play really came along. Cook, uh, the freshman, had a good game inside. So they're an inside-outside team, and uh, we'll have to be ready on both those fronts defensively. How effective has their pressure been um, this season? Good, they're a good pressure team. They lead the Big Ten in steals, and uh, that's something that we're going to have to combat. We'll have to have uh, very good ball care. We'll want to attack their uh, pressure and see if we can get some easy buckets out of it. Graham McCaffrey always plays a lot of guys, I assume, in part just because he kind of up-tempo. Is it easier? Is it harder to get ready for a team like that where you maybe do have to go? Good question. Bit yeah, yeah. They play. They play eleven guys. We're always uh, very strong on personnel. You know, it's one of the things we really try to study and try to highlight in our scouting report. So it gives you a couple other guys to uh, to hone in on. Uh, but they have some good players that come off the bench. Bear is uh, one of the top shot blockers in the Big Ten and and can shoot the three at the four spot or the three spot. And then Ellingson is really a dead eye guy from the outside that's been coming off off the bench. So they'll play a lot of guys and we'll have to be uh, sharp on our personnel matchups. You guys had a few days here between games. I mean, how much did you step away in the last couple of days, maybe reset or just kind of you know, reassess things? You always, uh, as, as a coach, it's funny, when you see other coaches out on the road recruiting at this time of year, the, the first question guys usually ask each other is, how much are you practicing? Mm -hmm. You know, Because it's a balance. You want to try to keep an edge, but yet you want to stay fresh. And so uh, I thought we balanced pretty good. We had a couple of days of edge and a, and, and a couple of days of balance. And uh, we're hopeful that our guys will feel fresh going into this ball game. How did they respond to that? How did they kind of respond? Very to good. This, this team. This team is uh, it's fu it's fun to come in here every day and, and coach these guys because they have such tremendous attitudes. They work hard every day in practice. They're always uh, ready to ready to go and, and and get the game plan and try to do the best they can with it. So uh, their their attitudes uh, have been have been very high, and we just got to try to keep having them with a narrow focus. You know, keep it keep it one possession at a time with the fundamentals and with the coverages that we need to have to be successful. Coach was saying the other night, just with some of these close games lately, that the key right now is making sure that those guys still believe that they're close and that they're not, you know, far away from really getting getting the win that they've been coming close to. Absolutely. How, how do you, yeah. I guess, make sure that they keep that focus? And keep well, they they know that these games are are possession games, and and as we talked about. Uh, even even at the beginning of the year, people will always focus on the last possession, and and that's a big important possession. But uh, the the teams that really make strides will focus on possessions throughout the game, and so uh, the the uh, post feed at, with 10 minutes to go in the first half that you didn't execute correctly. That's that's a play that can that can help you. And so if you build those good possessions often offensively, possession upon possession, and then build those possessions possession upon possession defensively, you, you get some runs. And college basketball, as we know, is a game of runs. And uh, you want to have the most of those positively. Coach Roberts struggled a little bit within the games uh, the last couple of weeks. How has his practice play been? Is he shooting it fine to practice? Or how is it? He's, he's, he, uh, he, has, he has not made shots in games. But interestingly enough, he is still in, in the last couple games, you know, as much at a high level. But he's still our leading three-point Big Ten percentage shooter of, of guys that play major minutes. And so uh, he, he's a kid that is in the gym all the time. He's constantly shooting. And shooters will go through those periods, just like hitters in baseball. You know, might go through a little bit where they're, where they're not uh, getting, the ball, uh, getting the ball down uh, and, and getting those base hits. But Rob has been positive. He gets out there every day and works on his form. And uh, there was a stretch last year, I think, uh, where Nick Zeisloff, who was a tremendous shooter, went through a couple of games where he, he wasn't shooting at the level that, uh, uh, that he had been. And then he broke out of it. And so we're, we're looking forward for Robert to break out of that and, and get us some buckets. Is, is there anything you look at with Robert in terms of getting him back, getting him out of the funk, or is it just a, you know, a case where he's a shooter? Just yeah, shooting. Every, every, every so often there are little things that uh, uh, you might notice that can help their form or help their release. And Tim Buckley is tremendous at that uh, with doctoring our, our guy's shot. And so uh, he's made a, a, a little adjustment, but n nothing that, that would be out of the ordinary. And it's more a matter of, uh, boy, when you see a couple of those things goes in th that go in, the basket gets real wide for you. Mm.
past couple of games, Thomas has seen some double teams down low and kind of flustered him a little bit. What does he need to do to kind of get out of those a little better? Uh, it's a recognition and, and an understanding and something that we try to, to show him a lot on film. And uh, he has to keep his, his head up when he catches it on the post so that he can see the double team coming and then make a good, positive, fundamental play on the escape of the trap. And uh, as, as simple as that may sound, it happens very fast in games. And you have guys with long arms coming at you. And he has to just uh, stay relentless with those fundamentals and reverse the ball out. It will really help our team if we can play inside out and open up maybe some more shots on the outside if they double team Thomas. Okay, anything else?